15 minutes early, Mr. Craig. The early bird gets the worm. Christmas yet? Hey. Morning, sunshine. Is it Christmas? Not yet, Mom. Soon, though. See? You get dressed. I'll make breakfast. Hope you're enjoying all that whipped cream, Mr. Third Suspension, this year. Really? How long this time? It's after the holidays. You need to get serious about your education, son. So the guy who dropped out of law school before he even started. Excuse me? Alice! We're in here. She's gonna want lights outside. I took him out of the closet. You deal with that. Where's Alice? Alice is in California, Mom. Hmm. Alice is coming home for Christmas. Well, you didn't come home last Christmas, or the Christmas before that, or Mother's Day, or your birthday. Ah, Christmas wishes always come true. He doesn't call home, he doesn't come home. Remember, he came for Halloween that one year, <laughs> dressed like a cowboy. That was me, Mom, Jerry, I was eight. Jerry's dead, baby. Here, Mom. Eat your pancakes. I don't want pancakes. I want grits. OK. OK, I'll get you grits. Fifty. The number of cases we'll have settled this year once we get Wesley on board. It's a record, people. Amazing. Oh, bonuses for everyone? <laughs> and time off for holidays. <clears throat> OK. Um, what day does Christmas fall on this year? December 25th. I know that, smart ass. What day of the week? Sunday. Thank you. Fine. Take Saturday and Sunday. Be back in the office 6 AM on Monday morning. I thought you said we were going away for the holidays. Ah, change of plans. I gotta jump on a few cases for the new year. All right, let's get back to work. These cases aren't gonna settle themselves. Bye, humbug. You. <laughs> You've reached the voice mailbox of the one and only Ellis Craig. If you're lucky and important enough, maybe I'll call you back. Ciao. Should we call him again? Mom. Call him again. I'll leave a message this time. Hello? Ha! Ah, got you. <laughs> You've reached the voice mailbox of the one and only Ellis Craig. If you're lucky and important enough, maybe I'll call you back. Ciao. This message is for Alice Craig. Alice. Yo, little help. How are hey, you? Hey, hey, hey. I'm waiting for you to come to Christmas. Yeah. You get your ship change of days yet? Grandma's getting worse. She's flipping out every night. Yeah, I know. 
That's what happens at this stage, son. What? Reading I'm trying to switch, but nobody wants the graveyard shift. I understand that, but it's just kind of tough for me to take care of her every single day, you know? Well, you're just gonna have to deal with it, Junior, because I got enough on my plate. It's not like you're busy with school, right? Talk to your mom lately? Nah, you? If you call sending me divorce papers talking. Dad, don't you think it's time for you and mom to just give up? I'm never giving up on your mother. Once we get out of this little slump and I start making some real money, we'll be fine, okay? And then we'll get back together, okay? Okay, but I just don't think it's... I better get mom back inside. Mom? It's a little chilly out here. Finish this up. I'll be right back. That's when I told your father to go chop down the biggest Christmas tree he could find. <laughs> you know what that man did? Hey, Mom, <laughs> I have to get to work. He brought back the biggest Christmas tree and he couldn't even get it through the front door. Mom, listen, I... Shh. Talking to Ellis. That was the most beautiful tree. We finally got it into the house. All the lights. It was so beautiful. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> Ooh, you good? I am beat. Oh. Mm. Get some, some sugar. Oh. Oh. You, uh, can you hit the, the light, please, baby? Mm. by yourself. My mom works at that new place across the street. She couldn't find a sitter, so she told me to wait over here. Can I get two hot chocolates? All right. Oh, I want a cinnamon stick in mine. Who's this guy? No, no, no. Mister? Yep. Who's that? My brother. Pharrell? Is he famous? What's his name? Mister, you hear me? Mister. Yeah, when we were little, we were really close. We used to do everything together, including this. And my dad died two weeks after my 11th birthday. <sighs> and I had to be the man in the house. Took care of my brother and my mom. As best as an 11-year-old could, you know. I grew up, graduated from Morehouse, and was all set for law school. That's when my mom got sick. Found out she had Alzheimer's. <laughs> he became this hotshot lawyer and I ended up here. Whew. I bet you wish you could try places with him, huh? Have a successful career in LA and more money than I can spend. 
while he slums it in this two-bit town with a bratty son and a mother who doesn't even know his name. Yeah. I wish. All right, one more round. Uh-oh, sounds like your mom's off work. Until I get out before you have breakfast, that's the least you can do after last night. Who are you? Okay, you know what, Ellis? Ellis? I can't with you. Wait, no. wait, 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 wait. You just called me Ellis. Wait. Oh. Oh. What is going on around here? Oh. I'm my little brother. Here now. <gasps> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, little brother. <laughs> the coffee shop is there. It's so that you make a right and then a left, and you're there. This is it's not bad. Wait. Oh, I'm a magnum man now. Yeah. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Everyone told me you were nothing but a player. They were right. Oh, just, no, 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 they were wrong. You gotta be kidding me. Look, I am not a player. It is just something really strange going on around here. You think I'm Ellis. No, you know, I think you're disgusting. Really? I'm sleeping. I gotta be still dreaming. I'm asleep. This doesn't make any sense. No sense whatsoever. I, I gotta be dreaming. I gotta be. I'm still asleep and I'm dreaming and I'm still sleeping. It's gotta, it's gotta be. This is a nice house though. I gotta be asleep. I have to be asleep. I doing here? What's going on? Look at us, Jerry. Finally, we're the man. What are you talking about? And what do you mean we? You haven't figured it out yet? I'm you, and you're me. Well, at least you used to be me when you were 11, hence my name, 11. Okay. How the hell did this happen? If, if I'm him, then he must be me. So where am I? I mean, he, uh, him, I mean me. I don't know what I mean. You overthink, and that's our problem. Hey, that's my favorite shirt. It's the one I burned a hole in when I got caught smoking in gym when I was- 11? Okay, since you can't accept anything good without getting all weird, I'll explain quickly. Please. I don't know how this happened, but I do know why this happened. Remember at the coffee shop where I asked you if you could trade places with Ellis, and then you said... I wish. Right. That's it. What do you mean, that's it? That's why it happened. That and what Mom did right before your wish, Mom kept on wishing for Ellis to come home over and over. Okay, okay, okay. 
So Ellis is at my house? Right, but he's not Ellis. He's us. Oh, geez. So Ellis is living my life and I'm living his? Just like we always wanted. This doesn't make any sense. What about mom and Junior? What about my job? See, I'm going to stop you right there. That's our problem. Always finding excuses not to do what's good for us because we're too busy worrying about other people. We're scared of success. We have trust issues. OK, 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 I get it. We're screwed up. How do we just swap? Wishes, man. It's all about the wishes. So is all this stuff mine? Technically, all of this is Ellis's. But yeah, I guess you could say it's yours. Now. Hey, what do you say? You want to go let it all hang out? Please, please say yes. I don't know. This is weird. But I guess one day wouldn't hurt. Great. But you know we may be stuck here until you figure out how to get back. We. Until we figure out how to get back. drink tequila on an empty stomach. <sighs> Alice! What the? What's going on? Maybe some kind of trick or I, I, I drank too much or whatever, but somebody turned my condo into an exact replica of my mother's house and moved my mother out here from Louisiana all while I was asleep. Now, I admit it was an impressive little trick and you all can tell me how you pulled it off later on, but for right now, I need somebody to get me the hell out of here because this is, hello? Hello? Oh no, wait a minute. I know she didn't just hang up on me. You know who I am? I'm... Jerry? I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Dreams. I get it. I get it. Dreams. I get it. Yeah. Answer the phone. I don't know who that is. I don't know. Mia? Maya? Mia. She's a cutie in the towel. Your girlfriend. Well, at least one of them. Listen, to her and everyone else, you're Ellis. So if this is going to work, you gotta play along. You gotta be Ellis. Not like you got a choice. Hi, uh... Mia! Mia, hey! I'm sorry I stormed out like that. You just make me so crazy sometimes. I know, I have that effect on people. Oh, at least you finally acknowledge it. What time are you getting into the office? Uh, the office? Wesley's gonna go for that settlement, I just know it. Wait, wait, what settlement? Can you believe it? You're number 50. They don't call you the Sultan of Settlements for nothing. Oh, can I get the credit card? I wanna go Christmas shopping for the staff. What is she talking about? Why is Ellis settling so many cases? Number one, you are Ellis. Number two, who cares? Number three, you're buying presents for the staff? Eleven. Ellis, who are you talking to? Uh, nothing. It, it's almost eleven. I'm on my way. Do you know where my office... Hello? Hello? Jerry, listen. I need you to call me ASAP. You got it? ASAP. Something really strange is going on around here and I need you to answer now. Hey, nephew, hold on a second. Call me. Am I glad to see you? 
Maybe you can explain what the hell is going on around here. I went to sleep in LA and I woke up. Wait, where are you right now? Are you in California or Louisiana? Louisiana? Right. And you're Jerry Jr. And that's mom in there, right? So, where the hell is Jerry? You know where Jerry is? You know what? Stay right there. I'll be right back. Okay? Wait a minute. Where am I? Wait! I told you, there's nothing wrong with me. Will you get that flashlight out of my face? Get it out of my face! Okay. Wait a minute. I know you. Dexter's somebody, right? See, this is what I'm talking about. He doesn't know anybody. Not even himself. Maybe he's got a concussion. Has he suffered a head injury recently? Not that I know of. Early onset of Alzheimer's runs in our family. Oh, all right. Look, there's nothing wrong with me, and I can prove it. You're Jerry's friend, Dexter Buchanan. Ha! You're a doctor? Pharmacist. That's it. I'm getting the hell out of here. Let him go. He probably just needs time alone to, you know. Uh, hello? Jerry, thank God you picked up. Alice, where are you? I'm at your house, uh, you know, mom's house. Where do you live, man? Look, I don't know how you pulled this off, some kind of Creole voodoo or something, but you need to fix it. Hey, I'm just as upset about this as you are. You're upset? You're upset? You're in my office living in my house, wearing my suits, messing with my... You better not be messing with any of my girls. Look, I can't explain this just like you can. not I woke up and I was you. I didn't have anything to do with this. Wait. Actually, I did. Oh. 11-year-old me did this. Some kind of Christmas wish, and you know Christmas wishes always come true. <laughs> Jay, let me ask you a question. You on drugs? No. How'd you do this? You mad at me, right? This is some kind of revenge, right? You mad because I made a huge success of myself, and you wound up being stuck making coffee. I hate to rain on your charade, little brother. I'm the reason you're such a big shot. Oh, boy, here we go. Woe is me. I sacrificed everything so my brother could go to law school while I got stuck taking care of my ailing old mother. Watch your mouth. Don't talk about mom like that. Don't tell me what to do. Then don't raise your voice at me. I'm telling you right now, give me back my body, my house, and everything else that belongs to me and get me out of this dump that you call a life. Right, because you deserve so much better. Brilliant deduction. You might have made an excellent attorney. All right. You want me to fix it? Damn right. Now? Right now. All right, I will. Hello? Hello? Jerry? Jerry! Fixed. Jerry! I've got my cell. Just call me if you need anything, Jerry, okay? Yeah. Like a prescription refill? Yeah, you'll be the first person we call. What was that? Look, I can't explain anything about anything to anybody, okay? So please, don't ask me any questions. Wait, what's going on with you? Shouldn't you be in school or something? I got suspended, remember? For smoking in the gym? <laughs> Dad, there is something seriously weird going on with you. I know, because I'm not really, uh, you, look, never mind me. There's something weird about you too. I think maybe it's the hair. And what's going on with those sweats? <laughs> Who taught you how to dress? You did. All oh, right. Looks like we could both use some new clothes. How about we go to the mall? You want to go to the mall? Yeah, look, don't tell anybody, but there's nothing I enjoy more than a shopping spree when I'm stressed. OK. Where's my black card? OK. You got jokes. All right. Jerry. Who knew he was so broke? Rain check on the shopping. Right.
with mommy boys. Good morning, Miss Ellis. Good morning. Hey, would you like your hot cocoa in a travel mug since you're running late? Actually, I want to have it here. Nice. Um, oh, and can I please get a, a cinnamon stick and Pop-Tarts? Pop-Tarts? Man, you must not know who I am. Place is enormous. I know that I was just checking to see. We had some problems with the chairs last week. That one's good. I I my apologies. I thought the conference was in another conference room in another area of the building. Uh, good morning. Good morning. How about we start by some updates? Some updates on everything that's going on. Um, like what? Like, um, let's begin with going around the table and everyone introduced themselves. Uh, start with you. Alice? Thank you. Thank you very much for updating me on all your cases and, and the input and so forth. I did have one more question. Um, why again are we settling the Wesley case? That's what we do. Right, but based on what I heard this morning, Mr. Wesley has a legitimate chance at winning. He deserves his day in court, yes? But I thought you wanted to settle. I changed my mind. A settlement is chump change to a multi-million dollar insurance company like that. Besides, if they settle, they're never held accountable for their actions. Win or lose, I want the public to know what they did. They fired Mr. Wesley simply because of his age. That's not okay. And we are going to trial. What about your record? No one's keeping score, Mia. It's not a game. Mr. Wesley gave that company 40 years of his life. He worked 12-hour days to fatten their pockets, and sometimes he could barely provide for his own family. Now they want to fire him? Bring in someone half his age, pay that person half of his salary? No, not on my watch. Oh, and that's happening far too often, older people being mistreated in all sorts of ways. I won't be party to it. Hey. What the hell was that? I don't know. But someone tipped them off. You think? Why else would he shift gears like that? We're gonna have to speed things up. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. Hi, this is Ellis. I, I mean, may I please speak with Ellis? Ellis Craig? I don't care if he's busy, put him on the phone. Now, wait a minute, is this Diane? Well, Diane, when I get back to LA, you're fired, okay? Because this is insubordination. Hello? Hello? I'm taking Junior for a walk. Would you like to come with? 
Actually, I'm taking her for a walk, but... No, I don't feel like walking. I don't feel like talking. I just want to get back to... I'm, I'm fine. You two go walk. What's the matter, baby? Mom, I'm not who you think I am, okay? I don't know how it happened, but Jerry and I seem to... I'm fine. Enjoy your walk, okay? I'll be sure to get him back before you have to go to work. Work? Don't tell me you forgot about that, too. Sleepy Joe's? <laughs> you expect me to... <laughs> You want me to work at a coffee shop? I don't think so. Yeah, well, think again, because we got bills to pay and bellies to feed, and you're the only one with a J-O-B. So, come on, Grandma. They crazy. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hold on one second, ma'am, hold on one second, hold on one second. What are you doing? Making a drink. Really? Yes, really. You care for one? Sure. What do you want? The usual. I'll surprise you. What are you looking for? Evidence, earrings, lingerie, a naked girl hiding in the closet. Sorry to say, I think you have the wrong guy. Alice. Alice. Yes, yes. Alice. All that stuff you said today, what was that about? Fairness, honesty, doing the right thing. Should I continue? What is up with you? Not that I'm complaining, but you don't sound like the same selfish, money-hungry Ellis we all know and love. <laughs> I wasn't really that bad, was I? Hmm. Okay. Well, I wasn't always that bad. Believe it or not, I was actually a pretty decent guy. I mean, I, I, I still am. I mean, might be a little selfish, but I would like to be that guy again. Good. I like that guy. Eat up. What? That's all I got. Eat up. It happened. It's okay. It's never happened to you before, but it, it happens. First of all, that is no way for an 11-year-old boy to talk. Secondly, I am not gonna, you know what, my brother's girlfriend. See, that's our problem. We're too nice. Remember in the second grade when Amy tried to kiss us, but we said no because Dexter liked her? Mm-hmm. Mia's falling in love with us. No, Mia's falling in love with Ellis. Excuse me, is that a problem? Yeah. I'm putting in the work. And reaping none of the rewards? And Ellis is getting all the credit. So, Ellis is at a little rundown crib in Louisiana. We're in LA. We got a Porsche, a Benz, and a Bentley in our garage. And a foxy lady in our bed. Foxy? Look, this isn't my life. I can't stay here forever. Why not? 
I mean, do you really want to go back? Well, yeah. Eventually. Don't look at me like that. This is cool. It's like a gift from Santa for being a good boy all these years. Plus, it's about time Ellis looked out for somebody else for a change. <laughs> we got a point there. Heck, he's probably having as much fun as we are. Mom! Mom! Mom, okay, look, you don't have to eat your food, but please don't play with it. Hannah, hey. When are you going to sign the divorce papers? I'm tired of being in limbo. I'm tired of struggling. I'm out here busting my ass, selling houses so that I can get out of that shoebox. You know, I don't, I don't get it, Jerry. What, what happened to you? Why do you want a divorce, Hannah? Have you forgotten what it was like between us? I don't blame you for taking care of your mother. I admire that. But you gave up on everything else, Jerry. You gave up on us. Women are all the same. All they want is money. I don't care about money. I care about you, and I care about Junior, and I care about the life we were supposed to have together. You gave up on our dreams, and I cannot continue to sit around and act like it's okay because it's not. Sign the divorce papers, Jerry. Please. Let's talk about it in the office. I'm going to be disbarred. Someone filed a complaint alleging that I've been taking money under the table from opposing defendants in exchange for convincing my clients to accept smaller settlements. It's not true, is it, Mia? It's not what's been going on around here, is it? Answer me! Okay, Ellis, you're making me nervous. I know you're upset about you're this. You're damn right I'm upset. This could ruin my brother's career. He's worked way too hard. I mean, I've worked. I don't know what I mean. <sighs> Did he really do this? Is this the kind of person he is? Hey, Mom. I can assure you that I intend to address these allegations. I will do whatever it takes to protect the image of this farm. That's all for now. Fix this, Mia. We'll fix it together. Hey. 
I'm gonna take my break. I'll be right back. Jerry, calm down, calm down, calm down. I'll explain. Okay, listen. There's two guys at my firm that are salty that I won't make them business partners. Paul and Josh, right? Yes. I found out that they got in touch with an opposing attorney in writing, pretending to be me. Told them we'd get our client to settle the case with their client for peanuts if they would pay us under the table. And the attorney went to the Bar Association? Yes, and that guy hates my guts. But his assistant wants to, uh, she's sweet on me, so, you know, she gave me the heads up. I knew something was up with those two guys. But why have you been settling so many cases, Ellis? All of the whistleblowers come to me. Look, they all have legitimate complaints, but they got nothing to back them up. You know, all of the big companies, they'll string them along for years. Look, they'd end up with nothing if we didn't settle. So you're trying to help them? Don't sound so surprised. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. I can't fight this. My career's over. No, no, I'm not gonna let that happen. But I do think you should stay there in Louisiana. Let me take care of everything. This could get a little ugly and you tend to choke under pressure sometimes. Are you sure I can still help? Let me take care of it. How's mom, Junior? They're great, they're great. I got everything under control here. You get everything under control there, okay? Okay. I gotta go. Sly devil. What? You don't recognize me? I mean you. I'm you when you were seven. Hence my name Seven. Don't you love our brother? Always taking care of us? With all that stuff going on in LA, you're better off staying here. Let Jerry handle it. That's what we've always done, right? Hey, and while we're at it, we might as well make ourselves comfy. First, we need to get a real job. And maybe go back to um, uh, law school? Oh, and we need some new threads. Man, do we need some new threads. shop said you passed out on the restroom floor and then when you got home you were talking to yourself or something what's going on i'm fine i'm fine relax too many coffee fumes what's wrong sleeping surprisingly <sighs> i had to get a new job seriously and i'm gonna apply to law school dang what happened to you Nothing. I just think it's time for us to get a new life. A new life for all of us. I'm tired, man. I'm going back to sleep. Oh, oh man. He's lucky to have us. Yeah, well, he's in a tough spot. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get him out of it. Look at you. Trying to save the career that should have been ours. Oh, come on. You do the same thing and you know it. <laughs> Remember when we broke open our piggy bank to buy a box of Christmas cookies because Ellis ate all the ones that Mom baked? <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of Christmas, it's getting close. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it home in time. Not with this mess hanging over Ellis's head. In that case... You might as well celebrate out here. Come on. You're filthy, stinking rich. But all you do is lay around eating Pop-Tarts. Let's go Christmas shopping. Eat some fancy food. Go ice skating. Ice skating? Yeah. Remember when we were little, we never got to go ice skating because we were always stuck home doing chores. Yeah, and Ellis went every weekend. Right. 
So what do you say? Tomorrow, we go Christmas shopping, bust some the pretty for Mom, something cool for Junior. And something for Hannah. And Mia. She's a keeper. She's a real ride or die chick. Can we take it back to Louisiana with us? No. Oh well. So what do you say? Ready for some fun? Why not? Dynamite! You missed me. You're killing me with the 70s stuff. Hello? Lo me, you there? This is stupid. I guess this is it. Our new home. I almost forgot how cute I was when I was seven. Remember these? Do I? That's all I ever wanted for Christmas, was Hot Wheels. Now we have big Hot Wheels. Well, we used to. If Jerry can't get us out of trouble. Well, then I'll have to start all over. Make even more money. What? Nothing. I was just thinking about Mom. How are you going to do all that and take care of her, too? I'll figure it out. Jerry couldn't do it. But I'm a lot smarter than Jerry. <clears throat> we gotta go to the store and get some uh, fruit and berries. Gerald Craig. Sorry, I guess I never thought about that before. Um, he's honest, selfless, would do anything to protect the people he loves. He's always standing up for the little guy, always putting others first. Not perfect by any means, but a damn good guy. Yeah, he'd make one hell of an attorney. I just got a new job. Dude, <laughs> it's at this law firm downtown. I'll start off as a paralegal and, you know. That's major. When are we going to get the Christmas tree? I'll take care of that. Hey, um... Are you sure it was a good idea to leave Grandma in there alone? I mean, we don't usually do that. We won't be long. It's still daylight. She'll be fine. And besides, it's not like we could drag her out here in the woods with us. The woods? Are we going to the store to buy a tree? <laughs> no, we're not going to buy a tree. Look, my little brother and I were kids. Our dad used to bring us out here in the woods to chop down a tree. Right. But we're not doing that, are we? Are we? Come on, boy. Like that. <laughs> you ready? Are you ready? This, this should be good as long as I don't fall. Oh, I gotcha. 
We shall see. I thought you said you went skating so much as a kid that you never wanted to see another rink for as long as you lived. I did. Uh, people change. I believe in me. See, I, I believe. I believe it. Well, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Hold a split. Wait. Holy split. Split. I'll hold your hand. Good. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> you spinning this stuff, so you professional. You just didn't tell me. All right. I need the card to read to Hannah with all my love. I need you to go to 1218 Second Street, Wisner, Louisiana, please. this uh, looks like a really expensive diamond tennis bracelet I'd say someone thinks pretty highly of you with a black card is this what you think of me Jerry you don't get it do you I never wanted money or, or gifts or diamond tennis bracelets, Jerry. I wanted a life. But I guess you can't do that, can you? If you love me, if you ever loved me, Thought of her mom. You did? What does she want? A life. Her life. And she wants it back. And she deserves it. So I'm gonna give it to her. I'm gonna give her a divorce. You okay with pasta for dinner? how the Bar Association thing is gonna play out. Yeah. I do know that I would not have been able to make it through all of that without you. 
Um, you are a real ride or die kind of woman. And any man would be lucky to have you in his life. I, whatever happens, I just, I want you to remember that I, I really am a good guy when you get to know me. Um, okay. And this is for you. Call it a early Christmas present. Mia. 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 Listen, what's wrong? Who's Hannah? Or the better question is, who are you? Wait, what? <sighs> Uncle Ellis? How'd you know? I knew something was up, but I guess I wanted to believe that you were actually him. I wanted to believe that he had changed, but the divorce papers? I mean, my dad would never sign those. He's too stubborn to, to give up on anyone or anything. What the hell is going on? Well... Okay. Um, you're not gonna believe this. I'm... Jerry. I'm Ellis, but I'm... Jerry. He's there, and I'm here. Somehow we switched. That explains. It makes sense. Not makes sense, but explains a lot. Explains an awful lot. So what now? You can stay with me. Now what? I don't know. Is my dad ever coming back? I don't think he can. Oh. We weren't even close anyway. I want to go back. Oh, man. I thought I told you going to take a few more weeks. Uh, months. Stop it. You're doing that thing we do when we lie. I'm staying. What about L.A.? What about it? What's left in L.A. for me? I can start fresh here as Jerry. I can do things differently as Jerry. Okay, but how are you going to do all that and take care of Mom? You gotta think about us. Maybe you can put her in a, what do you call those places? A nursing home? I don't know, Jerry went ballistic when I did that last time. Jerry's not here, and he's probably not coming back. You might be here forever. Can you see us taking care of mom for the rest of her life? No, but... Mom would understand. She thinks you're Jerry anyways. And she lets Jerry get away with everything. Mom, they, they go on trips and all kinds of stuff. How are we gonna pay for this? I got that all taken care of. It's gonna come right out of her social security. He won't even, we won't even need that money to, to handle anything now that I got a new job. Mom, you're really gonna like it there. It's a whole lot better than this place. This is my home. 
I can't take care of you like these people. I thought I could, but I can't. Junior can't. So this is good for you? And it's good for you, Junior? Yes. Right? Yes, it's going to be really good. Okay, and, and I mean, we'll come and see you all the time. Come see me when you can, Ellis. <sighs> you mean Jerry, Mom? Signed all Paul and Josh's cases. All their passwords have been deactivated. HR will give them their walking papers in the morning, and they will be out of our hair for good. Good. Now all we need to do is wait to hear from the bar association. Yeah. This is crazy. Have you told Ellis you're ready to come home? No, not yet. I wanted to make sure everything out here was handled first, but I'm gonna call him tonight. You remember that first night we were together? <laughs> Do I? Yes. <sighs> I'm sorry I lied. There's nothing wrong with my plumbing. I just, I couldn't do that with my brother's girl. Well, technically, I was your girl. So now what? Once Ellis gets back. I imagine he'll go back to his posse of girls, but I won't be one of them. Good for you. Although I have a feeling he'll come back a changed man. I hope so. You and me both. If you're ever in LA. We'll grab coffee. Jerry, any news? Yes, actually. I got rid of Paul and Josh, filed an answer to that complaint. I've done everything I can do. Uh, it's out of my hands now, Ellis. I'm ready to come home. I miss my life. I miss my mom. I miss my son. I miss my house. I even miss that stinging little coffee shop. I know you miss L.A. No, I don't. What? I don't want to switch. Got nothing left for me in L.A. Figure I can make a new start here. Maybe even get licensed here. What the hell are you talking about? My life in LA is done. I want a new one. But then get another one, but give me mine back. No. You, Ellis, I'm coming back to Louisiana to take care of my son and take care of my mom, whether you like it or not. They don't need you. Look, Jerry, you finally got the life that you always wanted and you still aren't happy. Think you can just pop back up here where you left off? No, not happening. You ungrateful little... Hello? Hello? You believe this guy? <sighs> All right, little man, come on. I'm ready to go home. Take me home. Take me home now. And don't tell me you don't know how. Try. Remember when I told you, you're gonna have to figure out how to get us back? Yeah. You wish to see her. I wish I had my life back. I wish I was with my son and my mother. 
I wish I was home. Sunshine? Where is she, Junior? Where's Mom? Junior, where's Mom? It's really you. Wait, you know? Hells <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I thought I would never see you again. Uncle Ella said you weren't coming back. <laughs> you miss me? Yeah. I missed you too. <laughs> Wait, where's mom? She went to a nursing home. Uncle Ellis took her. I get it. I get it. Pick up the phone, you idiot. Hello? Ellis? Ha, ah, gotcha. <laughs> you breathe. Come on. Come on. You just had to do it, didn't you? Where is she, Ellis? Where's mom? Tell me where she is or I'm gonna come to LA and wring your neck. She's at Pinecrest and calm down. Okay, I did it for you. Thought you might need a break. Oh, stop it. You didn't do this for me. You thought you were staying so you wanted to make things easier for you. Look. No, you look. I'm bringing mom back home where she belongs. And from now on, stay the hell away from me and my family. Say thank you for the new job I got you. Are you ever gonna change? So that's it. Why are you here, Ellis? Guess you finally got your revenge, huh? Oh. So you think I meant for this to happen? I didn't. So the idea of you teaching me a lesson never crossed your mind? Maybe a little. But you got a hell of a nerve question to me when you went behind my back and put mom in a nursing home. Twice. It was a nursing home, Jerry. It wasn't a prison camp. It's not what I wanted for my mother. Oh, right, because only you are good enough to take care of her. Only you can make decisions about our mother. Well, it looks like that, right? Because I've only been doing it since I was 11. Did you hear that, Ellis? 11. You know what that's like? A boy trying to be a man? No, because you never had to be one. I was 11 years old and I did everything. Everything. Wow. Jerry the Martyr. So that's what you want, right? Pity? Because when people pity you, they don't 
expect a whole lot out of you, and you definitely don't disappoint. Shut up! <clears throat> Get out the way, man. Mom, we got your home in time for Christmas. It's Christmas? No, tomorrow. Where's Alice? He left, Mom. And I don't think he'll be back. I want Alice. Can you believe this? After all that, all she wants is my brother. Why do you envy your brother so much? I taught you to take care of family. That's all I've ever done, Mom. My whole life. Just once, I wish you... Let all that you do be done in love. She come by to give me a personal escort out of town? Remember when we were little and you were afraid to climb trees? When you thought you were climbing by yourself, I was right behind you, holding your shirt. But I guess that's me, huh? The protector. The guy that keeps people from falling. For a long time, man, I hated being that guy. Hated it. Not anymore. That's who I am. That's what I do. But I realize that it's not because I didn't have a choice. It wasn't out of obligation. It was out of love. For mom, for junior, for you. The only problem is I forgot to love myself. I want you to come home for Christmas, Alice. I am home. No, I mean really come home. This looks amazing. Yes. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> Thanks for the headphones, Uncle Alice. Wait. <laughs> Hell. Heck. What? Heck. You boys used to fight over everything. Jerry, you thought Alice was my favorite. That's because he got away with everything. <laughs> and Alice, you thought Cherry was my favorite. Because you trusted him with stuff. A mother knows her children. She knows who to lean on and who to carry. She knows their strengths and their weaknesses. I may be forgetful and I may be confused. But I know my boys. I know what they can handle and what they can't. I know what they are and what they're not. I know my boys. I never loved one any more or any less. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's see. see. Uh, let's pray first. My son, would you do the honors? Uh, Ma. Mm, not you. Jerry.
God, even though I haven't talked to you in a long time, I know you've heard my every thought, my wishes and dreams, and my unspoken prayers, because today you answered them. Thank you, Lord, for my mother, my son, my brother, and thank you for blessing us with the most wonderful Christmas ever. In your son's name we pray. Amen. 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 Pancakes are getting cold, fellas. Hey, sunshine. Fly out in the morning, headed back home. I will definitely be back next Christmas and a lot more often. I know it's the last thing on your mind, bro, but uh, talk to Hannah at the funeral. I think before you guys turn that paperwork in and finalize everything, you should sit down and have a real conversation. Really listen to her. Yeah, well. Oh. On one condition. Hey, you get to know me a I mean, take your time so you can get to know her. Because that's the one. To mom. It's a Christmas wish is coming true. Mr. Craig, we are pleased to inform you that the Emory University School of Law has accepted your application for admission to the law program at the university. Hello. What's up, little bro? Man. Congratulations, man. I'm so proud of you, big bro. That's what I'm talking about. Congrats. Thanks, Brad. I'll talk to you later.